Hello students, in this lecture we will see one of the numerical method formula that is Lagrangius formula for intrapollution and inverse intrapollution means for Lagrangius formula for intrapollution as well as inverse Lagrangius formula both we will see here. So the statement if y0 is equal to f of x0, y1 is equal to f of x1, y2 is equal to f of x2 so on y n is equal to f of x n be a set of values of an unknown function y is equal to f of x corresponding to the values of x that is x0 x1 x2 so on x n not necessarily at equal intervals so here also this method is useful for unequal intervals as well as equal intervals so we can go for this method also here so here for the our simplification I will consider so to prepare a formula I will consider let our x varies from x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and y varies from y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 so so in in terms of general I will take specifically so that it will be easy to understand so the Lagrangius formula is given by f of x y is equal to f of x is equal to it is given by so all of you concentrate so it is nothing but so take a division line it is x minus x1 x minus x2 so we have x is x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 I have taken so in the first one so x0 you have to leave it in the numerator so you have to start with uh, x1 so x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 x minus x4 divided by so in the numerator we have not taken the x0 value so in the denominator you have to subtract x0 with x1 so x0 minus x2 x0 minus x3 x0 minus x4 into y0 into this y0 plus second term will be so in the first term we have left with uh, uh, x0 in the second term we have to leave x1 and we have to take remaining that is x minus x0 x minus x2 x minus x3 x minus x4 divided by we have left with uh, we have by leaving uh, x1 we have taken in the numerator so we have left the x1 so we have to take that one x1 here so x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 x1 minus x4 into y2 into y2 so similarly to write the next term here so we have to do x2 now so x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x3 x minus x4 divided by we have left for x2 so we have to take that one so x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 x2 minus x3 x2 minus x4 into y3 plus next term so in the next we have to leave x3 that is x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 then x minus x4 directly divided by so we have left with x3 in the numerator so x3 minus x0 x3 minus x1 x3 minus x2 x3 minus x4 into y4 plus so y0 y1 it is the second term is y1 this is y1 so this is y1 then here y2 will come so this is y3 next we have left with one more plus so this is plus sign here plus x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 x4 we have to leave it 
that x4 we have to take here x4 minus x0 x4 minus x1 x4 minus x2 x4 minus x3 into y4 so this is a formula for lagrange's multipliers uh, sorry lagrange's here uh, lagrange's formula for interpolation so if the they have given the value of x at that time we need to use this formula that is y is equal to f of x s in this way so in the first term we have to leave x naught in the numerator and uh, that x naught we have to subtract in the denominator then the second term x naught we have x1 we have to leave and that x1 we have to multiply in the denominator to the each uh, bracket then in the third term x2 we have to leave it then x2 we have to multiply uh, with subtract with the remaining one here in uh, fourth one x3 and fourth one x4 so in this way this formula is going to work out here so let's see one of the important remark the remark first one the special features of this formula is that the term of the formula involves only the value in the variable x and y so in the formula we have only the values what here x and y we need to execute for that then remark number two is the value of x also need not be equally spaced nor need they be in any order so how the value will get we can use it directly that one no need to rearrange also no need to check the interval also next the third one is we can interchange the role of x and y in the formula and the same is called lagrange's inverse interpolation reverse so x you can make it as y y you can make it as x and for that we can consider as lagrange's inverse interpolation formula which help to find the value of x for a given value of y so the what is that lagrange's uh, 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 in inverse lagrange's interpolation formula just i will rewrite so here for that i will take as x as i will take x0 x1 x2 and x3 and uh, y value i will take it as y0 y1 y2 and y3 so just i will write the inverse lagrange's inverse interpolation formula here so in that the equation will be x is equal to f of y it is instead of y is equal to f of x it will become x is equal to f of y so therefore we are finding the value of x which is nothing but f of y is equal to so all x formula what we have taken you have to convert interchange as y so it will become y minus y1 y minus y2 y minus y3 divided by we have left here y not so it will be y not minus y1 y not minus y2 y not minus y3 and we need to multiply x not plus second term it will be y minus y not y minus y2 y minus y3 divided by we have left in the numerator uh, y1 so y1 minus y not y1 minus y2 y1 minus y3 into x1 plus next term y minus y not y minus y1 y minus y3 we have left y2 here so y2 minus y not y2 minus y1 y2 minus y3 into x2 plus the next one is what here y minus y not y minus y1 y minus y2 we have to leave here y3 that y3 y3 minus y not y3 minus y1 y3 minus y2 into x3 so we so we have x varies from x not x1 x2 x3 so we have to stop and we have to this is nothing but a lagrange's inverse interpolation formula just interchanging the value of instead of x we are using what here y so this is also a useful formula to simplify a problem based on this lagrange's interpolation